Good morning, children. Today we are going to start a new chapter. That is chapter number two: globe, latitudes, and longitudes. In this lesson, children, we will learn about the globe, equator, latitudes, important parallels of latitudes, heat zones of the earth, longitudes, latitude and time, and why do we have standard time? so these are the topics that we will study in this chapter so children first of all let us read the first paragraph in the previous chapter you have read that our planet earth is not a sphere it is slightly flattened at the north and the south poles and bulge in the middle can you imagine how it looks you may look at a globe carefully in your classroom to get an idea globe is a true model miniature form of the earth figure 2.1 so children in our previous lesson we all read that our planet earth is not a sphere it is not round its shape is described as geoid so earth shape is described as geoid it means that the earth is slightly flat at the north and south poles but it bulges in the middle bulges mean it is round from the middle now i hope many of you have seen a globe either in real or in picture so children what is a globe a globe is a 3d model of the earth it looks exactly like our earth but it is in a miniature form miniature means small so globe is a smaller model of our planet earth you can see figure 2.1 children the globe is made so a globe is the smaller form of our earth now let us come to paragraph number 2 globes may be of varying size and type big ones which cannot be carried easily small pocket globes and globe like balloons which can be inflated and are handy and carried with ease the globe is not fixed it can be rotated the same way as a top spin or a potter's wheel rotated on the globe countries continents and oceans are shown in their correct size so children globes are of different sizes and types some globes are very big which cannot be carried around easily then there are small pocket globes and globe like balloons which can be carried everywhere easily so globe like balloons children we can blow in blow air into it and then we can use it how we are blowing air into a balloon in the same way in globe like balloons we can blow air into the balloon and then we can use it and such type of globes are very easy to carry everywhere now the globe is not fixed children the globe is not fixed we can rotate or move the globe like a top spin or a potter's wheel so we can rotate the globe now what can we see on a globe on a globe children we can see countries continents and ocean in their correct size so we can see both land as well as water bodies on the globe now coming to the third paragraph it is difficult to describe the location of a point on the sphere like earth now the question arises as to how to locate a place on it we need certain points of reference and lines to find out the location of places so children how can we locate or find the location of places on this big planet like earth it will be very difficult to locate any place on this earth without any reference point or important line so if we have to find the location of a place on earth then we need some important lines such lines are axis equator latitudes and longitudes all these are important lines that helps us in locating places on this earth now let us read 
this last paragraph. You will notice that a needle is fixed through the globe in a tilted manner, which is called its axis. Two points on the globe through which the needle passes are two poles, North Pole and South Pole. The globe can be moved around this needle from west to east just as the earth moves. But remember, there is a difference. The earth, the real earth has no such needle. It moves around its axis which is an imaginary line. So children, in figure 2.1, you will see, in this figure, you will see that a needle is fixed through the globe. So a needle is fixed through the ball of the globe. The needle at the the needle is at the top also and at the bottom also. Also children, you will notice that this needle is tilted. It is slightly bent. It is not straight. This needle which passes through the top and bottom of this globe is not in a straight line. It is still tilted. So children, this tilted needle is the axis of the globe. It is the axis of the globe. It is around this needle that this globe will rotate or this globe will move. And the two points children on the globe through which the needle passes is the North Pole as well as the South Pole. So at the top where the needle passes is the North Pole and at the bottom where the needle passes is the South Pole. Now children, like we have already learnt that we can rotate the globe. So just as how the earth rotates from west to east, we all know that the earth rotates from west to east. In the same way children, we can also rotate the globe from west to east direction. But children, one thing that we have to keep in mind is that planet earth has no such needle in reality. The globe, on the globe we, we saw two needles, one on the top and other one on the bottom. But in reality, earth has no such needle. The needle on the globe is for our understanding about how the earth rotates. Understood? So the needle is only for our understanding about how the earth rotates. The earth moves around an imaginary line which is known as axis. So the earth rotates on its own axis which is an imaginary line. So now, how will you define an axis? So children, an axis is an imaginary line around which the earth rotates. So axis is an imaginary line. No such line is there in reality. It is only for our understanding. So children, I hope this much you have understood today. So children, today we will do till here only. Please read the portion that we have taught, that I have taught. And in the next class, we will read about equator as well as the important latitudes. So till then children, take care of yourself. Thank you.